Hey guys, it's Heather. Today we're just testing Timu stuff. Like my recent Timu haul. We're just testing everything out. Well, actually, um, is it testing or is it playing? I made the choice to not get PR from them, to not get free products from them, and to not be part of their affiliate program. I want to have the ability to give my own honest opinion and not just give like positive reviews. I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm testing it out and I will give you my honest opinion on whether or not it was worth the buy or not. Um, if any of these items that you are interested in, I did share my order back on my video where I did the unboxing of all these things. Um, so go and check out that video and then you can go down and find these things. But I don't get commission. I don't, I don't get any money if you guys click on the links and go buy any of this stuff. Um, I just share it just so you guys, if you're interested in any of the things that I bought, that you can click on it and easily go to it. You can go see the price. You can do all of that. So anyway, let's go have some fun. Let's play with Timu. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that too much? Did I do? Did I go too far? Okay, so then this cute little um, Bluetooth wireless thing. So you got lots of different like little ports. Like you can charge this thing, and you just got all these. That's the speaker. It's not the greatest. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't expect it from this thing because I want to say I spent less than $10 on it. But I keep it in my kitchen, like right by my sink. Um, and then, like, I have my little phone stand that I have. So when I'm, like, doing dishes or whatever, cooking, I've just been using this. And this is actually pretty decent, especially with it being less than $10. And it kind of helps me from bringing in my big, expensive... Um, Bluetooth speaker that I have. Um, it's an infinity. This thing is awesome. And it's like a special edition. You can see it right there. I got it from Lincoln Park. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with that band. Um, we went to their concert and then we did like a meet and greet. And then they gave away one of these per show. And I was one of the winners. Amazing, amazing sound. But having it in the kitchen sometimes makes me nervous. Like getting it wet, getting it dirty, if, if it drops, if it falls. So I'm actually just gonna keep this right here. Like I said, it's not the greatest sound, but for $10, it just looks adorable. It's not It's not super loud. It's, it doesn't have like great sound, but it gets your, it makes it a little bit louder than your phone. I don't mind, like if it breaks, I'm not gonna like have a heart attack and like curl up in a ball and cry, so. I think that's a good buy. All right, let's get them all out. We got purple. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? It says it, it comes with um, extra batteries, but there's nothing here. And it's not like, oh, you must have had a defective one. All three of them are like that. There's no extra batteries. There was nothing. It's not like they fell out of the package. They're not in the box. They're, it's, they're, they're non-existent. Any hard water stains should and will be ignored. Um, otherwise, you will be asked to leave. Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's try that. I think it might be deep enough, but it says water activated, so I'm just going to throw them in there. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I don't know if that's like a magnet, you know, like if maybe it would work better like in a glass bowl. These are friggin' cute. What do you think, Mimi? Let me get a bowl. Like they kind of stick to each other. So um, it is kind of cool. Just get them out and let them dry out and then they should stop. All right, on to the next. All right, we're gonna try this with the cat since she's awake and she's here. So, me, me, me. 
We're gonna let it go. Okay, so this is just my daughter's like nightstand in her room. She's got her little cat bed down there for her cat. So I thought this would be a good spot to maybe put this and like cats like rub up against it. So it comes with four tabs um, to put on here. Just make sure the surface is clean. Hopefully it'll stay on. I'm worried that the legs on this are kind of skinny. Um, it is on the cheaper side, like they already are like bending a little bit, but it doesn't need to be like super fancy or anything. But... And then I got her this. Um, she's kind of feeling a little, little spicy right now, so I don't know if she's gonna... <laughs> she gets weird when my daughter's not here, but... You like that? She purring. You like that? There's not too much fur on there, but, but then you can just grab it. So that's actually kind of cool, and it seems like this would work really well. It seems like it's decent quality. Okay, so these little um, reusable water balloons, I guess you call them. They've got magnets in them. Are they really gonna hold the water really well? And are they gonna hurt when you get hit by them? Because right now getting hit, oh, well, they kind of just seal themselves. That's kind of cool. They're, they're leaking, you know, like the water starts creeping out. If you're out having your little water balloon fight, um, you just keep them in a big bucket full of water until you're ready to grab it and throw it, right? Um, either way, I could see that this would be a lot of fun for kids to play with, even if you're not intending on throwing it. It's just something to play with that, oops, that closes itself and that's just fun to play with. So then the next thing I want to do is I wash these up. These are those ice cube molds. This one is a silicone one with just like their cubes and then it comes with a nice little lid. And then this weird strawberry one. These little stick things are really confusing. I don't know how well that these would stay in. They're, they're very odd. I haven't quite figured out how to use them. I'm gonna put some strawberries in a blender with some juice and we'll see how well that goes. I'm just gonna throw a couple of like these um, mixed berries. And I've got some like fresh raspberries that, um, from this summer. If you buy them fresh, you can put them in the freezer. It's all good. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm just going to throw a little splash of this in there, the peach punch, just for some like sweetness because these, these are unsweetened and I know berries can be a little tart. And then we need to get some liquid going here. So maybe I will add a little honey, just add a little bit, just a little bit of honey. All right, that's good. Right, maybe just do one of these. That seems logical. And then I'm kind of thinking these aren't really necessary. I'm not, I don't think I'll be using these. I think I just like the strawberry molds, but just for the sake of the video, we're gonna stick them in. See, they just don't seem like they do much. Maybe I'm using these like all wrong. You guys are like, Heather, you're doing it wrong. Well, you know what? I tried. All right, into the freezer and we shall return with these in just a few hours. All right, so then this, because we have extra mixture, I think I'm gonna do, let's see, let's get creative here. I'm gonna fill these ones on this side halfway. We're going to freeze them and then when they're frozen, I'm going to add the peach juice on top and then put them back in the freezer. Then you'll have an ice cube that's like half fruit puree and half juice. 
get that in the freezer. All right, time to check on our ice cubes that we made. So I do a lot of ice cube molds. Um, I'm pretty familiar with them, especially these ones that have got the silicone. There's kind of a trick to it. When you get it out of the freezer, you don't want to just immediately start trying to pop them out. I find that it works best if you just let it sit just for a few minutes. It doesn't take very long, but then it just starts to detach from the, the edges. Let's start with these. Guys, that's kind of friggin' cute, right? Like maybe sitting on the side of a cup. I think next time I make these, I'm just going to leave these off. Oop, that already came off. That was, I think that's my fault. They're cute. See, I would just like drop that into like a little glass of lemonade or maybe like an adult beverage, just kind of pop them in. So I'm gonna pop these off because I really don't need them on there. Um, they don't even stay on very well. You just do a little tug and they pop right off. So we have our little perfectly nice squares of the same thing. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like it. Pop them out. Oh, look at that, that's so cute. So these are those ones that I filled halfway and then once those were frozen, then I went back in and filled it with a peach punch. Um, these are nice, I love it. I like to wear gloves when I'm handling ice cubes just cause you don't want my nasty little germs all over your ice cubes, so. Yeah, aren't those cute? I love that. So then one of the things I got is this cute um, clock. And it's battery operated, so we gotta throw a battery in there, but um, I just thought this thing was so friggin' cute. There's a light here, time alarm. So let's see how well it works. We'll just toss one of these. It's a new battery. Oh. Okay, so that's the alarm. I really struggled to grab these little knobs because of my nails. My goodness. We want the alarm to get turned on at two o'clock. Oh, and it does, it goes off. Seems like it works. Now, would I rely on this to get me up if I have an important meeting? Heck no. Heck no, but this would be a nice backup um, because it is loud, it'll keep going off. Maybe you could set this across the room. Um, you know, some people are light sleepers. Some people need like the whole house to collapse on them in order to wake them up. So sometimes having multiple alarms set. This is just cute, even if it's just like aesthetically pleasing. Like I think it even comes in different colors, but I thought that was really cute. Okay, so this little bubble gun doesn't feel too bad. Um, this little cap that it came with, um, it came broken. Um, either way, this thing would kind of be a pain. I, I would probably lose this anyway, because um, there's no way to attach it onto here. How many batteries I gotta put in this darn thing? So I tell you right now, I don't. I'm not real hot on the whole four batteries. That's not. That's nothing I'm excited about. But we'll see. If it brings us lots of joy, you can't put a price on joy. Or maybe you can. I don't know. And this little friggin' screw. If you've got long nails and arthritis, that's fun. <laughs> Tweezers, I think, right? I might need to get tweezers. Oh wait, there we go, did I do it? All right, got a little light. That ought to do it. I got this, so I'm just gonna take some of this um, bubble solution out. And we'll try that. It's the only one I had, so. All right, let's see if this thing blows bubbles. Ah. Holy, whoa, all my jewelry. <laughs> oh boy, I did not expect that. Holy buckets. Let's take it over to the sink. Here we are, back over by the sink. Okay, so this next thing, I really thought when I was getting this that it was a little bit bigger. I didn't realize that it was really small and like 
kind of meant for kids. So let's test it out because I am curious to see if it's gonna leak. I do like that it's like threaded, so you're gonna get a pretty good seal. And you do have a rubber ring going around here to help give it a good seal. So let's fill it up. Make sure we get it on there good. The cold that's coming through on that, that is nice. It's actually really nice. Um, that'll have to sit for the rest of the day while we're filming other things and we'll have to circle back and see how well um, how well that does and how quickly it melts. Quick little update on this cute little thing. Um, we still have ice in there. Now in all fairness too, like it would probably melt faster if it was like on your skin. Like if someone was using it like on their warm skin. Everything feels dry. So far that's a good little thing. I kind of I'm kinda of liking it. As long as this thing don't leak, this is a winner for me. And even like giving it a good squeeze because like if you were to give this to a kid you know they're gonna like squeeze the crap out of it right this is actually like really nice I really recommend this one and I don't even care if it's got bunnies on I'm using this next time I spray my little my thumbs because I'm texting so fast I'm just gonna go like that oh that's nice I brought you into this little tiny bathroom because it doesn't have any windows and I want to see how much this glows. So this is one of their, you know, Timu's, I don't know what other sayings they have, but I saw this one, thought it'd be cute, um, maybe hanging up in the filming room where I've got all my makeup. One of the things I like about this right off, right off the bat, I noticed right away, is the length of the cord. This is at least a six foot cord. So that's great. It does not come with one of these, but this is also one of the things I picked up from Timu. I really like that it has three USB ports. So we're gonna use that and test it out with this. And I also like it's got these little um, areas where you could hang it. Um, it's kind of cool. So let's shut the door. Love that. The ceiling, everything. Like it just lights up everything. So cute. So if I wanna be like super nitpicky, cause why not, right? Um, the switch is way down here. It's almost like right next to where you plug it in. So if you have to plug this in like behind a dresser or something, getting access to that little toggle, it kind of defeats the purpose of having it. Unless you're hanging this really high, then it'd be kind of beneficial to having the toggle down here. So just keep that in mind if you end up getting this. Wherever you're gonna hang it, make sure you have access to this. I'm always needing these, so I love that there's three, and I might actually get more of these because I, I really like that there's, take up one outlet, you've got three, So an hour after wearing them, I've only been wearing them for an hour and just around the house. Um, could be just a fluke thing, but I'm just gonna keep wearing them for a few days, just around the house, not going outside in them, and we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, I don't know what he's smiling about, but it ain't funny. That one and this one. Uh-oh. Okay, really quick with the slippers. I have worn these and worn these and worn these and worn these. They're actually pretty decent. Like, I told you guys, like when I was wearing them, they started to fall apart right here, but then that was it. They didn't continue to fall apart anymore. It was just this little part like right here. Um, the rest of it seems okay. And I really thought that these things were just gonna 
like fall apart on me, but that was it. That's all that happened. And I've been wearing them all day, every day. They're pretty decent. They're worth it. They're cute. Okay, so the next thing we need to try and test out. A couple of things. We're gonna do the mini clean machine. It like cleans jewelry. And then I wanna play with this. It's the wax melts. So I got my candle. We got this, but I think we're just gonna do these little blue ones. I also have this fun little set. This would actually be a really nice gift set. Um, like, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh. <laughs> Oops. I might end up giving that and just stick that in the giveaway for you guys. Um, but anyway, so we'll keep that in there. I'm intrigued to see how well that, um, that design shows up on the wax. Let's go. Because you probably only need like a little tea light in order, you know, and then you put the wax in here and then you melt it over the flame. But I'm extra like that. So um, we're doing a three wick, but so I'm just gonna fold this in half and we're just gonna put a wax seal right there to like keep that folded down. Pretty simple. They have so many colors. I just grabbed this one. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. They have tons of these, or just you can get different designs. I think this is just like tulips, I think. I lit all three just so the candle would um, melt evenly. I'm thinking next time I would grab a toothpick and like stir it. Cause I don't want to dump it and then like there be a big chunk. So it'd probably be best to kind of like stir it around a little bit while it's melting. Ooh, all right, it got some soot on my paper, so don't touch the thing. I'm gonna go like this. I don't know, should I let it cool a little bit maybe? Yes, definitely let it cool. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try it again, it's been about a minute. Maybe just leave it like that. I'm kind of thinking that's how you do it, right? You just put it down and leave it. I've literally, I've never done this. I've, I've always been intrigued by it, but anytime I've seen it done, it's just usually very brief and they're, they're going like this or like, and then they lift their, you know, like put it down and they pick it right back up. So, Ooh, that worked great. Then you don't, you know, you want to keep your seal. Give it to someone to get on their horse and take it across the land to deliver your party invitations. Just putting that little personal touch on something. I love this. I really, really do love this. This is so cute. Oh, and then just to show you when I was, I'm using this just to clean up, the soot wiped right off. It was all black under there and um, it just wiped right off. So, all right, on to the next. Okay, so this thing, um, it comes with its own little cord. Um, it's super short, so that's one thing I really don't care for, but it's just like this. It's like about a foot long, but I just brought over the extension cord. It does not come with um, the little block. You ha it's just a USB that you plug in. I looked it up and these little ultrasonic cleaners, they recommend using a water called um, deionized water. Um, I don't have that, but it's just a natural solvent. It's re recommended because it's due to its like lack of mineral salts and other impurities. It doesn't leave like stains, like water stains because of all the minerals that are in it. Um, so it also says you can also just use like purified water. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna clean my um, my wedding ring. Um, this thing rarely ever gets clean, so it should be nice and dirty for us um, because, you know, just gaining weight throughout the years and stuff. Um, it is a little snug on my finger. I mean, it looks bad, but I'm able to get it off. But see, it's got um, the five minute setting and the three minute setting. 
Um, it does have suction cups underneath it, so as it like kind of vibrates, um, it's not gonna like skip across the table for you. You can use Dawn dish soap. I don't see anything wrong with that because I'm always doing the dishes with my bare hands and I never take this ring off. Like it's on, all t I sleep with it, I shower with it. It's on like all the time, but I also have it on when I put lotion on, so it gets really grubby like in here. And then underneath, it's got these little holes and stuff where it can kind of get a little grubby in there. Let's do five minutes and we'll see how well it gets clean with just this. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna let it sit in there for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and um, we'll take a look at it to see how well it got clean. And if we need to do another cycle, where I'll add some of this. But I was thinking about maybe adding um, a little bit of the dish soap. I could do either this liquid, like the thick, regular, you know, Dawn, or this platinum foam. I think I might do just a little dab of that. Just a little bit, just a little bloop. See what happens to it. I feel like a science experiment now. Alright, we'll be right back. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm not sure if that got it any cleaner than what it already was. I'm not super impressed by it, especially since I can kind of see like some lotion and residue and stuff that's like in there. So what I usually do is I did get a pack of these toothbrushes from Timu, um, or was it Shein? Either way, um, like when I got these and I um, originally got them for like toothbrushes, but they're way too soft for a toothbrush. It's not too harsh to um, scratch your jewelry. I am just going to do what I normally do. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on there. You, I don't know, some of you all might be like, oh no, don't do that. And then that way I know like all of those little tiny grooves are getting clean. I feel like it got it a lot cleaner and it just takes a minute. It doesn't take very long, so. Okay, then there's this thing. This actually came broken. It's supposed to have four magnets on it, but um, three popped off. So, I mean, I could glue them back on, but um, I'm gonna show you in the microwave. I don't have like a huge microwave. I just have a little one of those 900 watt ones. It does stick to the, the roof. I don't like this thing because it takes up a lot of room in there. It just seems like it would interfere with how the microwave performs with having something in there permanently. Because the concept of this thing is you just leave it up there and then when you put your plate in there to warm up whatever, then you just bring this down, cover up the plate, it cooks, you're done with it, you stick it back up there. That's like its storage place, and then you use it, you store it, and you use it. I mean, you're gonna have to take it out and wash it from time to time, but hopefully it hasn't been too long that maybe I'll just return this thing because it did arrive like broken. So then like the next thing I got is, I did get this from Timu, okay? I get this from Amazon. Now this is, it's dirty because we use it all the time. Cause Maggie goes out and she comes back and her feet can be like, she got big paws and then like she'll get mud like underneath her claws. And then she brings that into the house. So this is the best way to clean her feet. And I actually have like three of these and when my husband takes her for her walks in the springtime, she comes back and he's like, bring them on out. And then I go out and she actually doesn't mind it. She actually like will lift her paw because she knows like what to do. 
but this is compared to this the material feels the same as this okay but the outer this is super cheap like this lid this little ring because you can take this out and then like clean it you see you can open it up and like hose it off if you need to um, but this is super cheap I don't like this at all I wouldn't recommend this um, because this isn't even too badly priced I want to say this is maybe like 15 to 20 dollars maybe such good quality this is really like tough I can't even like squeeze it and then this ring it's really nice it's durable this whole thing comes out. I mean, like I said, it's grubby because we use it all the time, but. And her, I thought I bought a big one and compared to the one that you get at Timu, I think that might be too snug of a fit for her big paw, but um, yeah, I don't, I think I would rather just get it from Amazon. This thing is, has been so awesome. Um, yeah, so if you got a dog that comes with muddy feet, I would look into this whole mud buster thing. I, like I said, I got it on Amazon. This is not, I don't like this. Her, it's just too small. Now, if you had a, a smaller dog, this might be a good thing for you. Um, but having a really big dog, I think I would need like something more durable like this. But if you had a smaller dog, I think this would probably be, be just fine. I, the only thing that worries me is if over time, if you need to have this lid on, because when you're putting their paw in there and pulling it out and twisting it, this thing is just gonna come out every time you pull their paw out. So this thing keeps that in there so it doesn't come out when you're cleaning their paws. So I'd be worried that eventually this is going to stop catching because the thread on it is just one little notch and you do just a little bit of a turn to get it on there. So that's the only thing I'd be worried about um, not working over time. But otherwise it seems okay. Um, if you can pick them up for like about five bucks, I'd say it's worth it. But I wouldn't pay more than that for this thing. Anyway, that's what I gotta say about that. Are you sleeping like a good baby? Yeah. Look at that sweet baby. My sweet baby. I just wanted to throw this video in really quick. I actually already filmed this and I trashed all the footage because I put it together wrong. And it was totally my fault and I couldn't get the thing to work and actually in the video I was gonna say I was gonna return it because it's just it doesn't work the water won't hold in here well I had this little plug on this side it's supposed it's supposed to go on the underside um, so now I got it put together right it actually works but not for acrylics it's not for me if I was painting I would just have old school like how I've been doing it forever I just have like a cup of water that you rinse your brush in um, I think this would be kind of fun for kids nobody too young because they're just gonna sit here and push this button like all the time but basically what you do is you take your paintbrush and you need to clean it off you just like swish it around in there and clean off your paintbrush and then if the water gets too dirty, you drain the dirty water and then the clean water fills it back up and then all the dirty water goes under here. So the thing works, but I really wouldn't use it. It's a paintbrush toilet, guys. It's dirty water. You push the button, the water goes down. Like what else do you call that? It's not a sink. Sink is running water. This is a paintbrush toilet and it's fun unnecessary <laughs> okay so these rhinestone switch covers I love these so much right so you're gonna hear the wind like 
right? That beautiful wind out there. Amazing fall day. I've got my window open. Here's my problem. I'm really, really bummed that these do not fit. Um, but if you're like painting your room and then you're gonna put these on so then you know the size, we would have to take these off and like repaint the wall because like, you know, it's not gonna, whatever. Anyway, so just keep that in mind, maybe measure it. So pay attention to the size of whatever, you know, Timu is saying that the size of the switch plate, but it's just a little too small. But yeah, same thing with these ones. These just don't quite fit. They're just a little too small. So anyway, so then the next thing I've got for you guys is this thing. So let's get that open. Gosh, it feels nice. Even like, just like that, that's cute. I may rethink that. I don't know if I want to put the shelf on it. Could this be like a little trivet on the, and then put some candles on it? just hang it on the wall right like this is kind of universal I mean they have the thing on there already if you want to hang it on the wall and it's on there pretty good but like that's where the shelf is supposed to go two screws to screw this in towards you know in the back and then they also give you a screw with a uh, uh, what is this called like a sheetrock you know, you put that into the wall first and then you put this in. And then they give you five hooks plus an extra one. You know, if I end up not liking it, I can always just unscrew them like you're not gonna see the holes underneath. So um, I will go ahead and use this like it's intending. Okay, so we have all five hooks on. All right, let's see how hard this is. So they do give you one of these also, but I can't, I wouldn't be able to hang on to that. So I just use my little screwdriver that I have. And then I will just give this to husband and have him hanging on the wall. <laughs> I'm not doing it. This is that thing I grabbed from Timu is where it just holds all my sunglasses. This isn't all of them. I just put a few in there to show you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it up here. So I just put like a temporary little... 3m hook but it is double-sided and then you can have all of your sunglasses they don't get dusty and then they're still like on display where you can like see them because i was storing mine in their little cases before i would keep them in this little drawer here they're in these and you can't really see them so then they're not getting used so then at one point i picked these up where you can still see them, you know, that's just a hinge, keeps them, you know, dust free, they don't get dusty, and you're able to see them. But then it gets kind of pricey and you have to find a spot for all of these. So I'm still on the fence about um, doing something like this, like keep doing this and just getting more of them. But that's kind of like a space thing or just having them on the wall I'm kind of on the fence. I'm not sure what I want to do. Keep going with what I've been using or do something like this. But either way, wh whatever you decide that you want to do, what works for you, this thing works great. It holds them. I haven't had any problems with the stitching, the plastic cracking. Like, it seems like a good deal for this. I'm sure, you could put other things in there. It is open on either side. Okay, so I'm showing you just a little bit of like behind the scenes. So like, it's a little messy. Like I've got like my unboxings and stuff that I do there. And I like film like over here, all these little tables. And this is like where I keep some of my jewelry. Um, so I have it kind of organized. So when I saw these at Timu, I thought, well, heck, I wonder if they'll fit because like I've got these drawers here that are empty that I want to do more jewelry in. Well, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't measure right. I really thought I could get three across and I can't. So I'm kind of bumming. 
like it just they don't fit one of the things that i noticed with these like some of these like they're on there really good like this isn't coming off and these ones i thought well i can just glue these down but then i started thinking i wonder if they have it like this so you can make it adjustable i don't know or they're falling apart and this is i have no idea but either way i don't see it as a big deal because if you do want to make it a permanent thing get some hot glue put a little bit on there put a little bit on the other side and boom it's it's gonna stay in you're fine they got all these different shapes they have this one that one that one you can just do rings like they got tons of them so um i what i'm gonna do because i can't get three to fit so I'm just going to leave it like this and that fits and then do something else like right here. So I'll just end up doing something like that with the drawers. But um, yeah, anyway, I really do recommend those. I can't believe the price on them. I think it's a great deal. Go get you some. And then the other jewelry thing that I have to help organize is this thing. It's nice. It feels like great quality. The only thing is it these circle things on the end if I was to give it a little bit of pressure they're gonna like fold in so you got to be careful with that so once they go in I don't even know how you'd get them to come back out but you got to be careful about the ends so maybe put whatever jewelry though you know your everyday the ones that you grab all the time you just kind of leave those on there easy grab I made these ones um, when my mom came into town for the 4th of July weekend and we were making jewelry. Um, so I made like my own um, stretchy bracelets and I freaking love these. Anyway, go check out her Etsy account guys, like I'm serious. I'll have her Etsy account linked below so if you guys want to go check her out you guys know that her Etsy account and her Instagram account will always be linked in my description. Um, now I need to buy more Timu stuff <laughs> yeah so then we can do another unboxing and have more fun with Timu it's a vicious cycle you guys get it right like you you buy stuff and then instantly your cart's full again right you you get it <laughs> all right as usual this was so much fun hanging out with you guys and I'll see you on my next one bye